Hello and welcome to an early alpha of Democracy 4. If you don't know what Democracy 4 is, it is the sequel, surprisingly, to Democracy 3, which we have previously played on the channel. Democracy 3 and Democracy 4 are basically sandboxes where you get to be a political ruler and you get to control the different policies, different ways in which a nation will go and the different things in which they'll do and you can focus on all sorts of different things like during your terms you could be like, I'm going to solve the debt crisis or I'm going to solve uh, alcoholism or something like that and you make that your goal and you work towards it and then maybe the next time you try something different. So. We're going to jump into this. Um, it is an early alpha, so we don't have a lot of options. Um, so we're going to go for the UK because that's where I'm from. So it's the most easy for me to work out what the natural issues you'd imagine would be. And then we're just going to play. One of the nice things I've noticed this time is that there are three parties, which for the UK makes a lot more sense because it's not necessarily a two party system. Well, in fact, it's not. Um, so, we've got these three parties, we're going to be the egalitarian de uh, democrats, and let's go. So, the first thing you're going to notice about Democracy 4 is that it looks an awful lot like Democracy 3. And there's a reason for that. It is an awful lot like Democracy 3. A lot of the things in it are very similar. So what am I looking for? If the game plays similarly to Democracy 3, and it looks similar to Democracy 3, what exactly is the point of a new game. Well, here's what I want to see. I want to see information displayed in a slightly easier way, because that was one of the problems with Democracy 3 is you could always find the information you wanted, but it was difficult to get there. I want to see updated um, places, so all the nations updated to 2020 politics rather than whenever the previous one came out politics. I think it's like, you know, 2012 politics or something like that. So I want to see something different there. And I want to see new events, I want to see new interesting things that can happen. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for new content because obviously the game itself looks very similar and plays very similar. So it's, um, I'm looking for like a refresh basically. So let's look at our problems. Actually, this isn't very bad to start off with. Our GDP is kind of all right. Our unemployment is actually, that's pretty high. Crime's pretty high. Poverty's pretty high. Education's not as high as you'd want it. Health is okay though. So we're healthy, but we're not very bright. And we often do crime. Okay, well, let's see what we can fix. What are our major issues? Well, our major issues are going to be the ones in orange around the edge here. It is quite a... Um, it's quite an assaulting vision when you first see this game. It's very difficult to tell what exactly you want to be looking at. So the first thing you want to be looking at is these bits around the edge. All of these orange things. These tell you what the issues are where you are. So, if we have a look at ghettos, we can see that that is an issue. It's basically funded by street gangs, so street gangs uh, being a big thing, that's making ghettos be a big thing. You can tell that because there were lots of arrows going very quickly. And then, that causes um, equality to go down, it causes uh, there to be pressure on liberals and ethnic minorities, and generally, people don't like it. So, what's causing street gangs to be an issue? Well, if we have a look here, there's a lot of issues that go into street gangs. We got poverty is a big one, and we got unemployment. And its main negatives are, everyone doesn't like it, conservatives don't like it, uh, tourism goes down, and retire don't like it. So I think street gangs are a big problem for us right now because not only are they lowering conservatives and everyone's opinion of us and retired people, but they quite like us. It's also causing ghettos, which causes ethnic minorities and liberals not to like us. So right, right off the bat, that's a huge problem. However, the things that are causing it are poverty and unemployment, which must have issues of their own to look at. So we'll get there in a second. The other thing we have in this section is we have organized crime. That's only a very small amount, um, and that's caused by narcotics, I think. Because narcotics are banned, there's some organized crime. And it leads into some violent crime and some crime, but it's not as big an issue because it doesn't feed into crime very quickly, it's not really like, it's not a huge, it's not doing huge damage to us in the same way that street gangs is. And we also have some alcohol abuse, which is again caused by poverty, but is also caused by the large amount of alcohol being drunk. People are drinking more alcohol, there is more alcohol abuse. Makes sense, but it's something we could deal with. And all of that is in this section, so this is all of kind of our crime section. There are a few other sections. 
fact, they all have things, don't they? So if we go and click on that, she's currently in charge of law and order. So that's our law and order section. Who are these people and why are their faces here? Well, this is our cabinet. This is the people who give us political capital to spend to make decisions. So, as you can see here, we have six of them, and all of them together have given us 18 political capital. And this is basically our resource that we can spend. So if I go and have a look up here, for instance, at... Uh, I will get the right one eventually. I think it's this one, maybe? Nope. This one. There we go. Right. So, if I have a look here... We've got all of these different things, right? We can say, if we wanted to solve our law and order issue, we could say everybody has to have uh, gated communities, right? So to do that, we would then have to click implement. Implementing it costs a certain amount of political capital. So this one costs 13 out of our 18. So that would mean we couldn't do something else. Let's say we also wanted to do a needle exchange program that costs 12. So we couldn't do them both in the same amount of time. How do we get more political capital? We uh, work with our cabinet in order to get them to give us more like basically they're giving us um, Trust in order to do it. So this guy's orange. I assume is not giving us very much So he's giving us 1.2 overall which out of 18 you can tell um, it's not really that high uh, And she is giving us 1.6 uh, if I go there is a cabinet view. I believe yeah, there we go So 1.2 yeah, nobody's really giving us a ton of political capital I think we get a base amount as well looking at this, but yeah, and you also get to carry over some political capital from previously. So, um, let's see, can we get anyone better on our cabinet? That might be our first move. Uh, let's look at our other issues first. So if we go down into this one, which is public services, this is kind of like health and schools, we can see that we have respiratory disease as a problem. This is caused by tobacco usage and car usage. So if we were to lower them, that would maybe go away. If we have a look at obesity, that is caused mainly by GDP. And I think it's because our GDP is good, and because yeah, it's also caused by food price. So yeah, I think it's because those things are good, that's causing obesity. So this is actually a problem caused by things which are good. Because GDP goes up, people have more spending money, they spend more on garbage, they eat more garbage, they become larger, obesity becomes a problem. So that's where that sort of thing is coming from. And then we have one last major issue, which is an uncompetitive economy. And that basically causes our GDP to go down, causes capitalists to be unhappy, and is mainly caused by our large amount of taxes. So you can see here that we have a reasonably large amount of taxes. I'm assuming that the more green around the edge, that shows how far it is. Yeah, I think that is what it does. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Um, right, we have political capital. We want some more of it. First thing I think we're going to do is we're going to change up our cabinet. So in here, I'm going to go click reshuffle cabinet and we're just going to get rid of everyone. We spent 10 capital. They're all gone. So now what we want to do is, oh, we can actually choose which ones we want to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of them all. They're all fired because it doesn't cost any more capital to get rid of them all. And then we're just going to go through each one. We're going to go find uh, people who, can, who want to do the job and we're going to find people who give us the most. So this is... Sorry, this is for foreign policy. Oh, it looks like there's some more stuff in here about campaigning. So like ones who'll be able to campaign for us better. Interesting. So we can say, sort them by experience, campaigning, or loyalty. I want to do loyalty because loyalty gives us more political capital. So this person doesn't have a lot of experience. Uh, what, what are we doing again? Foreign affairs. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so we're looking for somebody who wants to do foreign affairs and is loyal to us. So we've got uh, Wendy Thomas in here. Uh, she's got sympathies with religious and motorist, but she wants to be doing our foreign policy. We're going to stick her in here. Uh, how do we hire? Interesting. It doesn't... Ah, I guess we have to click hire. That's odd that you wouldn't do that on the same screen, but that's okay. I'm going to hire her. Right. Welfare. I guess this was here beforehand as well, so that would be why. It was there when we still had our cabinet. Welfare. I'm going to hire a new person. We're going to look for loyalty. Who wants to do welfare? Uh, it doesn't look like we have anybody who wants to do welfare apart from Bill Coleman here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hire Bill Coleman. I think he was doing that job anyway. Economy. She wants to do economy. She's loyal, good at campaigning. Joy, you're on the team. Tax. 
we want to have a look here. We have this guy, Dustin Rogers, wants to do taxing. So we'll stick him in there. So I should also pay attention to what they will they like. So this we've got two people who like religious. And that means that if we do things that aren't religious, they're going to lower their loyalty. So that's something that we might want to care about. But right now, I'm just after some people to give us something to work with. Next one we're doing is public services. So public services, top guy, Ronald Ramirez, another religious one, but he wants to be on the team. Cool. Law and order. Let's have a look here. Law and order, Linda Davis, environmentalist and a capitalist, we'll stick her in here. And then transport, uh, transport, we have Dan Morris, another religious. So we're probably going to have to appease religious people quite a lot in this one because that's what most of our cabinet is made up of. And that's one of the um, balancing factors is what you can actually do. I don't know why the other two are not showing up here. Did I not hire? I did hire them. Hmm. Maybe it's because I fired them and then rehired them. Maybe that's the issue. Anyway, so we have eight capital still left to spend. What is our biggest issue? I think our, our biggest issue right now is street gangs. So we're going to click on it and then you can get a bigger breakdown of it. So street gangs. Right here, you can see that there are some things that lower it. We got uh, CCTV, we got community policing, we got police force, they all lower street gangs. However, our poverty and unemployment are adding to it by quite a lot. And then these are all the things that it affects. So actually, more street gangs there are, the less liberals there are in our in our country as well. So that, that's meaning there are less people in that group. But it also adds to ghettos, adds to crime. Yeah, it's generally not very good. So, um, and we, what we want to do is we want to get it to the stop trigger. Because basically there's a start trigger and there's a stop trigger. So if we can get to the stop trigger, it will stop. If it goes back up to start, it will start. And the start trigger is much higher than the stop trigger. So it takes a lot more effort to stop a problem once it's appeared than it is to stop a problem before it appears. If that makes sense. Which it should. So right off the bat, I think unemployment is our issue. Right? Because it's fairly high and it's something that we can probably work on. So if I click on unemployment, we can go to it, same thing as well. So, what is causing unemployment to go down? Well, GD, uh, um, what's causing unemployment to go up? Well, GDP is. Uh, so actually, I think that means our GDP is bad. So I might have misunderstood originally. So GDP being bad, it's causing un unemployment to go up. And that's causing all sorts of things. It affects everything across everything. It also has unemployment benefit, obviously goes up because there's more people unemployed. Uh, let's focus on GDP then. What can we do to make GDP better? What's causing our GDP to have issues? Uncompetitive economy. Okay, so we're now through to uncompetitive economy, which was another issue. What's causing that to be an issue? It's our productivity. If we go to productivity, what's causing that to not do anything? Maternity leave is affecting it. That doesn't seem like that's the biggest uh, problem we're going to have. Maybe education could be a, bit, a good way to go here. If we increase education, our productivity will get better. But also you can see alcohol consumption is in there. So if we lowered alcohol consumption, that might help. So if I have a look at alcohol consumption here, which again, you see GDP is now feeding back into alcohol consumption. Um... We could perhaps raise the alcohol tax and that would lower our alcohol consumption which would then also help fix our alcohol abuse problem. So it all links back round on itself. So alcohol tax is already pretty high. How much would it cost to increase it? So if I go up here it's going to cost us to raise it uh, 10 political... Oh it says... Oh okay so it's 3 then 5 and then eight. Okay, so this is cool. So it's a sliding scale. It used to be that to increase something or decrease something, it would just be a straight thing. It would be like, if you're increasing it, it's going to cost this much. If you're decreasing it, it's going to cost that much, right? This one, we can actually raise it quite a bit with the small political capital we have. Now, this is going to make poor people unhappy. However, we're doing this to fix the, uh, the street gangs issue, so that might make them happier in the long run. It might also fix our equality because street gangs and ghettos were causing equality issues. So, I'm going to raise it as high as it can go. It's also going to increase our income by a reasonable amount, in theory. So let's apply that. Uh, actually, I'm going to go as high as we can go. As, oh, it won't let me go. So I want to be like there. So you can't just... Okay, that's fine. Let's go with that. Apply changes. Yes. Five political capital, I've done that. Now we still have three capital, but that's not really enough to spend on anything, so I'm just going to end my turn here. 
Right. So, this is our quarterly report. Yes, yes, we have some tutorials here that I haven't quite clicked through. But this is exactly the same as Democracy 3. So you get unemployment has apparently gone up, as has poverty since last time we looked. So whatever is causing these two to go up has still been happening, which I think was our GDP. Our health has actually dropped a little bit as well. We got a question. So, violent video games. I think these used to only have two options as well, so that's kind of cool. Concerns have been raised in the press about the impact that video games have on the nation's youth. Some of these games have been described as murder simulators, and links have, suggest, uh, have been suggested between the games and violent crime. There is a proposal to ban certain games and restrict the sale of others to those over 18 years old. Now, we can leave it unchanged, censor games, or add warning labels. I think right now, we're kind of staying a little bit neutral. We're testing the waters. I think we're going to add some warning labels. We're going to add a system to tell people what's in the games. Right, so parents liked it, youth did not. Well, that's okay. The youth don't tend to vote that much. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. So we're about to hit hospital overcrowding. Right, so this is what I was talking about. You see the start trigger? If we deal with this now, like this exact second, if we deal with it, that will then not become an issue. And once it becomes an issue, it basically causes more problems than it, uh, than it would... If basically it causes additional problems more than the fact that we have it, if that makes sense. So, what's causing this to happen? We've got high healthcare demand, but we also have a, a good state health service. What we probably want to do is increase the state health service or the private healthcare services in order to then get rid of this hospital overcrowding issue. So, we'll think about it. Budget report it gives us a credit rating. But there's not a lot we can really do to work anything out about that. It's just a credit rating. Oh, can I see? Does this give me? Yeah, it takes me back to the quarterly report. Cool. So this is security uh, briefing. This is basically people who might be trying to kill us. There's some threats here and there, but no one's really there yet. These are the major threats. All the ones with guns are like, we're going to come and kill you now. These ones are just like, we're, we're a little bit uppity. So right now we've got a little bit uppity with defenders of the flag. So the patriots aren't quite feeling us as much cabinet are trustworthy, which you'd hope, because we just hired them based on loyalty, and then we, we, we would get 55% in an election, potentially. Which is cool. I like it. So we'll go with that. Right. So, um, let's have a look at our street gangs again. So street gangs, uh, what we did to fix it was we tried to solve our alcoholism issue. So where is alcohol? There we go. Alcohol consumption. So right now the alcohol tax is coming in, but... Uh, does it tell, it, there's a one delay on it. So basically it means that things will actually start happening, I believe, from the next month. So we're not going to notice it. That's the wrong one. Uh, so we're not going to notice anything immediately on our alcohol uh, consumption until next month. So right now, it's just going to sit where it is. Next time, we're expecting to see it drop by quite a lot. You'd hope anyway. Like you see here, still nothing's changed. So right now, nothing's changed on that side of things. Our GDP is a problem because it's trending downwards and it's causing other issues. So how do we fix our GDP? Well, we have an uncompetitive economy problem, and that's our productivity. We already went in here. So this is still an issue. We get rid of maternity leave, right? Say we just completely cut maternity leave, it's gone, right? How does that affect us? Well, productivity goes up because people are working more. Parents hate us. Parents have less income, less mem. There's less parents as well. Trade unions will hate us, population will hate us, gender equality will go down, and compassionate, I believe, is used for electioning, so or electioneering. So if we were in here, uh, we would be seen as less compassionate in to all of our voters. So, for uh, so voters who want compassionate leaders, they're going to be unhappy. So, what are we going to do next? Hmm, that's a difficult question. So we can't get rid of maternity leave. I think that obviously to anybody with a brain that's not going to work right so what else is causing our productivity issues well education so we could try and do that or health actually health is a good one because we're coming to a looming issue of hospital beds so if i was to improve health that would also help our productivity which would then in turn help uh, our uncompetitive economy which would then in turn help our gdp which would then in turn help pretty much everything else so, 
let's have a look at health issues. So, state health service. Right now, it's completely killing private healthcare. But that's okay. State health service killing private healthcare does not matter in the slightest because the reason why there's no private healthcare is because there's a, everyone's using the state health service, right? Essentially, that's not an issue. What we want it to be doing, though, is, uh, well, actually, looking at it again, it's also fixing some of our other issues. So it's fixing unemployment. Capitalists don't like it because, well, you know, they like you to be paying for private health care. Apart from that, like, and the wealthy don't like it again because, or the wealthy don't feel like it's a worthwhile thing because, again, they're paying for private health care. Everyone else, though, they love it. Oh, also, you can see where, what the most recent opinion of you is. So poor people don't like us because we're, we just tax alcohol by quite a lot. So we can maybe get them back by raising support for the public health service. So the uh, the only issue is that the more we put in here, it's going to cost a lot. So you see right there, we're, we're going up in billions for cost, right? For even a, just a very, very small change, right? So revert changes, we're at uh, 34. And we only got 0 0.8 from our alcohol tax. So this is going to cause a huge amount of debt, potentially. But I still think it's worth it. However, what else could we do? Well, we can have a look at private healthcare. Is there anything I can do to boost it up? Well, not necessarily. There's nothing that I have here that's going to make private healthcare work. So let's have a look at our ideas. I want to go into welfare here. Let's see what we can do. That is well. Oh, it's public services. Sorry. So I could add healthcare vouchers. So a, a measure designed to ensure, encourage the growth of private healthcare while still enabling everyone to access it. So I could do that, potentially. That could be a way to go. Is there anything else that might help out here? Um, I don't see anything else that's amazing, just out of what we've got. We do have some weird ones, like human cloning, but I feel like that's a little bit further than we're going for. I could just go for something simple, like a healthy eating campaign. It raises health lowers obesity, it takes a while to implement. Like, implementation cost is two quarters, which is two turns, I believe, but it could still work. Like, that's that's the kind of thing might work. Free school meals, again, lowers poverty. So actually, I might implement a couple of smaller things. We're going to have a healthy eating campaign, which we're going to spend a lot, the maximum amount on, trying to lower obesity, also trying to raise health, which will help our public health service. So we'll apply that. And then also in our public services, going to give free school meals and we're going to pay as much as possible on that. This is all being paid for by our, our alcohol tax so far. Definitely going to help our poverty issue. Obesity is going down um, per income. If I go the other way, does that do? it doesn't change anything with it. But I guess if we were to get rid of it, it would then do something. Um, we also then have parent membership goes up. There are more parents, more socialists. Yeah. And the poor like it. So let's go with that. All being paid for by our alcohol tax. Do we have anything else that we want? Free eye tests could be interesting. It's not quite going to help multiple things. So I'm less inclined to do it. But it costs very little to give us that. Compulsory food labeling. Now capitalists will hate that. And our GDP will go down. So we maybe don't want to go with that one. Um, yeah, I think we might leave it where it is right now. With 13 capital, what else can we spend our capital on? Is there anything else which we think is drastically an issue? Well, organized crime is a little bit of an issue, and that's caused by our narcotics. So the fact that narcotics are outlawed, that's going to be a big problem. We can move it up to... Oh, you can only go between jumps here, so we can't even raise it a tiny amount because our lowest jump is 16. So it's either outlawed or it's, you know, it's not outlawed. There's not like a... Oh, it's sort of outlawed. So that's fine. We can't do anything there. It's going to take a while to get there. But if we did that, that would definitely lower organized crime. In fact, if we went even further and went all the way in, organized crime is going to drop down significantly. Obviously, legalizing heroin going to have other issues. But, hey, that's something that we could think about in the future when we have a little bit more capital to spend. What's this one? Gay marriage doesn't seem to be having any issues apart from religious people which we do need to make like us but we'll keep it in there right uh there's some new ones from like i don't know what that is so that's just why i was looking at them from democracy 3 so that's the kind of thing i want to add in from democracy 3 like this i don't believe was actually a policy then 
or it might have been. I might be completely miss, uh, you know, might, might be completely missing it, might have forgotten it was there, but that's the kind of thing I want added into Democracy 4. That's the kind of refresh that I'd be looking for. So that's cool. Um, Let's see, is there anything else? If we go GDP, is there anything going in here quickly that we're looking at and going, that's a big issue? Crime does lead into it as a negative, but GDP affects everything, so that, that's kind of an issue. What do religious people like? I want to make her my cabinet happier. Is there anything that we can do that's fairly innocuous that will make them like us? Uh, gender transition's definitely a new one. Yeah, definitely a new one. Um, abortion law. Ah, there's not a lot that we can put in here that's actually going to help out a lot that we that I can feel good about. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, still can't see anything that's going to jump out at me and say that we need to go for it. Anything in general that seems good? Maybe public libraries? How much does it cost? It doesn't cost that much. And it's going to help out with our education, which will also help out with various other issues we had. I'm going to implement max public libraries. We're going to have lots of those. Right. And then we're going to play. So. Right. Right in here, poverty has gone down, which is great news. Budget's the same. Uh, defenders of the flag exist. Cabinet are still uh, trustworthy. They're not that effective, but they are. They do like us. Corporate manslaughter bill. A new bill proposed will allow corporate entity to be prosecuted for manslaughter when they've been found guilty of negligence resulting in loss of life. So we can pass the law, saying it's necessary to deter companies from cutting corners when it comes to the safety of their employees and members of the public, or block the law, say it's unenforceable. With large companies employing many subcontractors, the legal complexities involved in applying blame for the accidents are considerable. I am going to pass the law. There we are. Capitalists don't like us, liberals and trade unionists do. Now, if we go and have a look here, capitalists hate us. But if we can raise the GDP, that's going to help out quite a lot. Let's have a look at our alcohol consumption. You can see immediately, we did the tax. This is jumping straight down. And that's going straight where we want it to go. Because consumption of alcohol is also dropping down. Which is great. So if I go to productivity, is that filtered through yet? Yeah, you can see a distinct rise in productivity. Which, if we go into here in an uncompetitive economy, you can see we start to trend that the right direction. So it's all still trending. So even though um, we've implemented it and had the one implementation delay, there's still time for it to filter through. So if we check this again next month, that's still going to filter down. So that's cool. Also, the fact that you have political capital each month does not mean you have to spend it. So, because we have 24 political capital does not mean we have to spend 24. We can leave it and just say, hey, this month, there was nothing to do, right? We didn't have anything major, we wanted to see how everything else panned out before we ran into this issue. So, um, I just want to see how much that we have from, uh, how much we have maximum. So we have 42 maximum, so if I didn't spend any, we'll have 42 next time. Yeah, so that's cool. Actually, we'll have... Just, yeah, we'll, we'll have 42 next time. Even with 21 per turn, we'll hit roughly there. And interesting, you can see where you get it. From ministers per turn, we get 12. From popularity, we also get some now. And from majority. So how large uh, a lead we got. Interesting. You can also get some from emergency powers, which sounds intriguing. So there are a lot of little systems that have been tweaked here, which I'm intrigued about. Maybe I could try and fix our deficit issue. We are losing 26 billion every single quarter, which is not ideal. I'm not okay with I don't really think that that's where we want to be going with life here. We would really like our deficit not to be going up, which our debt is going up. So, um, income and expenditures. We're spending more than we're bringing in. That's, that's essentially our issue. We're spending more than we're bringing in. How do we fix it? Well, what are we spending money on? State health service. Nobody's going to be okay with us lowering that. State pensions. Again, nobody's going to be okay with us lowering that. State schools. It's going to be difficult to justify it. Debt interest. Yeah, you, you can't just lower that. Uh, military spending. Again, it's going to be difficult, right? It's going to be difficult to justify that. Child benefit discipline. See, everything here, I'm like, there's a lot that is difficult to get rid of. Alcohol abuse there, by the way. Two billion it's causing us. We got rid of that. Huge. That'd be a huge increase, potentially, towards where we're going. 
How much do we need? Let's have a look. What's what's our income and expenditure? I want exact numbers. Uh, income is 29. Okay, expenditure is 56. So that is a deficit of 26. Yeah, okay. I already kind of knew that because it said there. So that's a problem. What's our income? Assuming we can't fix our expenditure immediately because the top things that are there are not going to be easily fixed. Like these top three ones, very difficult to fix, right? Um, if we go here, income tax, huge amount. Government borrowing, not going to be a great one to keep going because we have to borrow 26 billion each uh, month because we need to pay off our debt. That's not going to help. Payroll tax, sales tax, corporation tax. Our alcohol tax is bringing in a billion which actually our alcohol tax combined with our alcohol abuse thing, that's going to bring in quite a lot more. Not necessarily going to help. Petrol tax, though, is something we could consider. So petrol tax, if we were to go for that, that is leading into many issues. It's mainly leading into, one thing it's leading into is car usage, and that's causing a respiratory disease issue. We could help that by um, getting, by raising the petrol tax. So much do we need? We need 22 to raise it, like to raise it more than here. Now, how much are people going to hate it? So, say I raised it to the max. Motorists are going to think that I am the devil, which is fair enough. But that will also raise us an extra 2 billion. Motorist income goes down, less people are in motorists. An electric car transition, which is a cancel, there we go, which is a kind of a general over time thing. Um, that's going to go up, so more people are going to use electric cars, which seems good to me. So I think I'm going to do that. It's going to lower our GDP, though. It's going to it's going to distinctly impact it. If I just go for a little bit, doesn't really impact our GDP. Does lower car usage. Does also make us an extra half a billion. Yeah. So we'll spend one lot of political capital on it, right? I'm going to apply those changes. So we're raising petrol tax a tiny amount. Oh, what's the implementation? One. Yeah, cool. So now I'm just going to end it. Let's go. Next one. So GDP's dropped. Health, though, way up. Crime down. And unemployment's gone up. Okay. So, royal baby. So conservatives and tourism went up. For royalists, thoughts of succession. For everyone else, cute baby photos. When a future monarch is born into our nation's royal family, there's something for everyone. Well, at least something for enough voters that we can pass that tricky leg legislation without too much press coverage. Smile for the cameras, your majesties. Credit rating was downgraded, so this is going to affect our GDP. Business confidence has dropped entirely. Very little we could have done about that at this point. News headlines tonight. I have no idea why the government does this. The words of Clara Lewis when uh, describing the daily suffering of her elderly mother in acute constant pain from an incurable uh, condition that has turned her life into a living hell. The government uh, still opposes a right to die. You need to look into it in my, into my mother's eyes and see the suffering they are causing. It's unbearable. Okay. Well, that's obviously um, something that we could put in. It's going to make a lot of people unhappy, including religious, so we might want to avoid that for just now, because we've got a lot of religious people on our cabinet. Budget went down. Uh, let's have a look at our security briefing. So actually, the Fenders of the Flag dropped. Uh, uh, Federation of Entrepreneurs has gone up slightly, but yeah, there's very little people in any of these. No, no people are being radicalized. Capitalists hate us, though. We might want to do something for them. Right. Let's have a look. What can we do here. So first things first, let's have a look at our alcohol. So that is actually going to stop next turn because we've already hit the stop trigger. That's immediately going to save us 2.39 billion, which is huge. I'm going to have a look at our alcohol abuse or our alcohol consumption. That's also dropping. Now, the interesting thing is because our alcohol consumption has dropped by so much, the amount we're making from our alcohol tax is actually not going to, like, that's actually going to drop as well, because this directly affects alcohol tax income. Which makes sense, right? If you think about it, less people are drinking alcohol, we're getting less from the tax. So, yeah, it's a slight problem. However, we raise the tax in order to stop people drinking alcohol. This should mean, however, productivity, you see it's got a steep rise, like our productivity is going up which should, in turn, be causing our GDP to go up. However, it didn't because, well, it like, our GDP has just been trending downwards. Uncompetitive economy, 
started to go down, we need our productivity to continue flying up for this to make a difference. Anything else affecting our productivity that we can affect. Education, I guess, is one that we could do. A lot of these are slow burns. Respiratory disease is also affecting it, and we have started to move that in the right direction. Is there anything I can do to fix the environment? Well, GDP lowers it right now. Um, so what's this, strength? Oh, so some things have a higher weighted thing against it, I think. Oh, it's the number of turns inertia in this effect. Oh, so do I already have population controls going, or? Oh, I'm completely off of where I was. Can I go back? No. Uh, where were we? Environment, there we go. Oh, so this is like saying if we did anything to affect population controls, it's going to take us like, you know, another 12 turns for it to come through. I think I might put in some clean energy subsidies. Capitalists are going to hate it though. Ah, that's the problem. I need something that makes capitalists happy and the environment happy. So what do capitalists like? What have they got that they like here? They like Linda Davis. Well, we can't create more L R Linda Davises, so that's a problem. Um, they don't like anything that we're doing, apart from like intellectual property rights. Okay. Foreign investment, they quite like. Does that help us in any way? Not really, not hugely. Um, it only affects GDP. Or that these are people investing in me, by, or by, in our country by... Okay. So if we did something that would make foreign people invest in us, they would be happy. Okay. So raising productivity is going to do that. Uh, foreign investor tax, bre tax breaks? Maybe we could do that. Working weeks. So that's currently uh, fine due to number of hours worked. Ah, so if we worked more hours, they'd be more willing to. Yeah, that's not really going to help us. Um, foreign relations are down. Why? Why are foreign relations down? Well, I know where they are in real life, but why are foreign relations down here? Uh, there is no reason for it. Okay, it's just, it was down. Could add more foreign aid, so if I increased foreign aid slightly, patriots are gonna be very unhappy, right? We can increase that by, like, a small amount, though. Foreign relations fly through the roof. Right? So let me move that back here. So we increase it by, what, a third of a billion? And we get a huge increase in foreign relations. That seems like a cool thing that we can do. So I want to increase it. It only costs two capital as well. Everyone's into it. Right. Tiny increase in foreign relations. We're hoping that will have a big impact overall. Let's have a look at obesity. We are dropping it, but our obesity issue is huge. Like, it's very difficult to get rid of. How about street gangs? Is that still in... It, we dropped it. We definitely dropped it, but it's kind of evened out again. It's very difficult to get that to continue dropping. Unemployment. If we could fix that, that's that's going up. Can we fix that somehow? We can increase the state health service, which would decrease unemployment. I mean, that might have a double effect. I might actually go full in. We might go like much further into the this. Capitalists are going to hate it, unfortunately. But we could go in to a 25% rise in our public health service, right? Which is huge. Ah, oh, that costs 16 billion though. How are we ever gonna make that back? Maybe I'll just go for a tiny rise, right? We'll go like a little 10% rise, which should help a little bit. Although it's gonna obliterate private healthcare, which is the problem. Because we actually do want private healthcare to still exist for a little because it's doing its job. Maybe I'll just do education. Maybe that's something I could focus on here. Just ignore it entirely. We know education's another thing that'll help. Let's uh, maybe just implement a new policy that helps education. Or we could do something that's going to help one of these. Have we got like a walk to work scheme or a cycle to work scheme? Bicycle subsidies. That could help. Environmentalists don't hate it. It lowers obesity. It raises health. It doesn't cost a lot. I think that's a good implementation. I think that is a really good use of our money. It has about the same impact on obesity as um, as raising the public health service, but at the same time, it's doing some good stuff. I think we'll apply that. Is there anything else that we can do here that might help in transport? 
because I think that might be some a cycling campaign at the same time. Seems like a good one. We'll implement a cycling campaign. Again, just trying to get more people to cycle. It's a very cheap way in order to fix some of our issues, I think. Um, telecommuting initiative? That could be good. Lowers the number of commuters. Doesn't cost an awful lot to implement. We could do a, 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 like a little one. But already, like a very small amount of money in there reduces a lot of what we've got going on. I'm going to accept that. And then I think we might just move on. Don't make too many changes. Okay, so, crime has dropped significantly, health's gone up, and the phenomenon, uh, phenomena of alcohol abuse has apparently sub, uh, subsided. So people are no longer abusing alcohol as much. Great. Positive discrimination. There are calls for a law that expressly sets quotas for the employment of ethnic and other minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority to some job candidates than others on the basis of their race, sex, or age. So I can pass it. Okay. Um, which is fine. Or I could reject it, which is... Yeah. I'm not entirely sure which one we want to go for here. I think passing it is probably going to be better for us in the long run. Conservatives hate it, but they, just ha they had a royal baby last month. What more do they want? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hospital overcrowding, we're keeping on the edge, which is good. In fact, that looks like it's dropping slightly. So as long as we keep healthcare here, it doesn't become an issue. If it does become an issue, we have to funnel money into the public health service, and that's not somewhere we want to be. Economy is fine. Uh, cool. Achievement unlocked. Subsidy Sam. If you want something done, you subsidize it. That seems to be our new national anthem. Perhaps we should subsidize anthems too. If we tried subsidizing the writing of achievement descriptions, might be an idea. All right, well, there we go. Our debt is going up. Our deficit is increased by three billion. Has our GDP, our GDP is recovering. We just had a first rise since we came to power of GDP. Great. Street gangs, I want to have a look. That is dropping still. Alcohol consumption straight up gone. Brilliant. Uh, how's obesity looking? We are dropping that completely. Wonderful news. Respiratory issues, again, dropping. That's what we're looking for. So right now, I don't see a lot that we immediately need to jump on. Uncompetitive economy is still there. Is there anything we can do to increase our uncompetitive economy? We could lower tax. It's not necessarily going to be great. We could raise the minimum wage. Now, raising that is going to make capitalists insanely unhappy. So, we need to think about it here. We could lower corporation tax. So, if I raise this, uncompetitive, it would become more uncompetitive. Ah, so I would actually want to lower the minimum wage. That's going to make poor people unhappy. However, here's the thing. We've already done a lot for poor people. So, we could kind of go this way. It's also going to increase poverty, though, which is going to increase our street gangs. And our street gangs are our main issue, as we previously went for. Hmm. Okay. So how are we going to fix this? I could increase our police force. Capitalists don't care, but it should inc increase uh, a number of employees. It should decrease employment and lower street gangs significantly. You know what? I'm going to spend um, the max amount of money. We're going to raise it to the max. Police force. More policing. Let's go. Not necessarily the most uh, topically best answer, but for our issue, I think it might solve something. Now, obviously that doesn't solve the core issue with street gangs, and it's only it's gonna take four turns to implement, but it will, like it doesn't solve poverty, it doesn't solve unemployment, but it does solve street gangs, which might solve our ghetto issue, which might make people like us more. Is that necessarily our goal? Not necessarily, but you know, it will also save us some money, maybe. How about community policing? We could do some more of that. It's going to lower racial tension as well. And it doesn't cost very much. Yeah, I'm going to raise community policing. In fact, it costs nothing to raise it in terms of political capital because everyone's for it. There's no pushback. Everyone's like, why did you not already do that? Okay, so let's have a look here. GDP. We have... Uh, a lot of negatives going in here. So crime is going into GDP as well. So the fact that street gangs are adding to crime, that's a problem. Organized crime, 
is leading into crime, so we could potentially get rid of some of that with some narcotics. And this should actually gain us some income, because there'll be legal drug consumption which we can then tax. Age limit for cannabis? Just immediately go straight in there. That costs a ton of political capital to get there. So if we look, that's 32 political capital. Some people are going to hate it, but at the same time, I think that's going to fix a lot of our issues. So I'm going to chuck that in. I'm going to go age limit for cannabis. We're, we're done. Right. So we've chucked that in there. I would also like to tax that if possible. Through a drug recreational drugs tax. That's next quarter. We need to put that in there because that will lower the consumption, but we should make us money. Let's go. So, health is going up, which is good. Um, the global economy just went into recession. So global economy is dropping, which means that our economy should likely also drop at this moment. Not great. Extradite a terror suspect. Middle East country, with which we have no formal extradition treaty, has requested we extradite an immigrant living here to them to face charges of terrorism. They accuse them of being responsible for car bombings in their capital city, but the only evidence they have of this is confessions of other terror suspects which may have been made under duress. So we can send them back immediately, okay, or we can keep them here. Hmm. I think we're just going to extradite them. Immediately. We're, we're, uh, I was hoping that would give us some extra... F I, I was hoping that would make um, our foreign uh, situation better, foreign relations. Liberals hate it, patriots love it. So we got did something for patriots. Okay, so we have an extremist group now. So the extremist group of true patriots and the angels of heavenly justice have both appeared and they're both coming for us. They're going to try and kill us. So we could end at any moment. We could be killed. It's unlikely we will, but we could be. Right, next step, I want recreational drugs tax. Immediately we're going to put that in here. Immediately, it's the, it's the highest we can get it. It's going to lower legal drug consumption a lot, but that's, that's fine. We don't want a lot of legal drug consumption. Organized crime should be dropping. Yeah, because this is one of the main things that they had going for them was narcotics. Narcotics, now not one of their main things. Could also increase the intelligence services which would lower crime as well. Liberals would hate it, but that's okay. Right, let's figure out where we're at. Obesity, dropping, lovely. It's a long-term issue. We're not gonna be able to fix it overnight, but we are getting there. Respiratory issues actually went up. Ah, not great. Uh, GDP, oh, uncompetitive economy is the one I wanna look for here. It's going down, great, because our productivity is raising. Fantastic news. We've basically replaced alcohol with drugs, but you know, let's not worry about the long-term impact of things. Popularity in general, people love us. We've got 87.55% of people that are going to vote for us. That's crazy, right? That's absolutely crazy. So even though people like motorists hate us, if we actually have a look at the motorists here, they, although they're quite highest percentage of the population, uh, if I go, where is it? There's one of these, which is this one? No. Uh, one of these is like a focus, ah, I think it's this one. Focus group. Uh, if I find somebody who's a motorist in here. Uh, so I need somebody who is motorist. Uh, so these are the groups that they're a part of, basically. So I'm looking for somebody who's a motorist so that we can have a look. See, so, right, this person's a motorist, right? They hate us because they're a motorist. However, they're also poor and liberal and a socialist as well. And they actually quite like us due to that. So they like us at 100%. Even though mo as a motorist, they could they despise us, right? It doesn't matter because everything else is adding up to them liking us, right? You get the idea? So that's how it, it all works because it's not based off of individ... Because each of these is not just a bar of thing, of an equally weighted thing. A motorist can also be a liberal, and a liberal can also be a commuter. You, you get the idea, like, it, it's all kind of interconnected, which is what we've been seeing quite a lot. Okay, our deficit actually went down, which is nice. We still need it to go down a lot more, but yeah. I think what we might do this turn is just wait. I don't have anything immediate. Okay, unemployment went down, poverty went up, multinational company headquarters. A large multinational company has decided to build its regional headquarters here in our country. 
A favourable labour market, good education levels and stable regime all contributed to the decision. Um, this will boost. Uh, this will mean a boost for employment and our economy. So capitalists love it, which is great. GDP went up and unemployment went down. That's huge for us. All over the country, there are young, bright, intelligent students who this year will be denied a chance to study at university. Why? The answer is simple. Those students come from poor families. Okay, so if we have a look at our policy, university grants. We could give them, which would then solve our skill shortage if we had one, and teacher strike if we had one, generational wealth gap if we had a problem with that, and it would raise all of these things. We don't need students to like us. They're not, they're not a problem for us. If I have a look here, these are all dropping, which is nice. Defenders of the flag are dropping. Evangelical Alliance are dropping, which should mean that these stay, the radical groups stay roughly the same. Cool. Right. Liberals like us less now. Popularity has actually gone up. So liberals like us less, but our overall popularity raised and our deficit increased. Not good. All right, let's have a look. Uncompetitive economy, still there. All right, street gangs. Still there, not really dropping as quickly as we'd like. Ghettos, still there. I'm hoping though that the police force in a couple of turns are gonna come in here and that's gonna solve our issue. Organized crime is dropping, not dropping as quickly as we'd like it to. Respiratory issues, again, dropping, but not as quickly as we'd like it to. Obesity, still dropping on a flat curve. That's good, that's fantastic. Okay, what's our next thing? How do we continue going? Well. Why is this stopped, would be my question. This is probably stopped because our productivity has stopped getting better. Yeah, our productivity actually drops there. So why? Legal drug consumption is affecting our productivity. Okay, fair enough. It might even out a little bit due to the tax that we put on it, but still, not huge. Um, let's think about what we want to do next. I think I want to improve our education. Now, some of these take a long time. What's a state broadcaster? A uh, state-owned broadcaster can improve impartial, or provide impartial and independent news without influence from corporate advertising. This can serve as a defense against bias or fake news, but a compulsory TV tax is not popular with everyone. So if we raise that, it doesn't cost very much. Capitalists don't like it, but it will improve foreign relations, unemployment will go down from it, and it will also improve our education, but not a ton. It's not a huge, it's not really an education fixer, it's a foreign relations fixer by the looks of it here. So that's, a, that's an option, and it is an option, it doesn't necessarily get us where we're going. Is there anything else I can do here? Like, is there a policy I could come up with which is going to help us? Um, something that's going to help us with productivity. Um, those workers on boards. That lowers productivity, we're not really after it. Um, anything else? That's not that's not really what we're looking for. Anything else in here? Anything else? Actually, what's helicopter money? Um, an unusual policy designed to boost the economy immediately, where the government effectively prints free money. Gotta say, I can't see that going well for us. <laughs> that, that that's definitely a you've gone you've done something terribly wrong if that's what you're going for. Okay. Some of these, cap like the uh, business startup campaign, capitalists quite like. We might want one of those at some point. Productivity goes up from technology grants. So if we give companies money to invest in uh, technology, they can become more productive and it lowers unemployment and it lowers religious membership without annoying religious people. I think I'm going to implement that. It makes capitalists love us, kills religious membership, Unemployment drops. I think this is a huge policy for us. I'm going to implement it. And then I'm just going to go. So, crime has dropped. We have a royal scandal. So, a, mom a member of the royal family has been accused of spending a suspicious amount of time with a convicted sex offender. Oh, really? Well, that would never happen in real life. Despite the individual sordid history being well known. How is this... Uh, this has been described as, as best, at best, poor judgement and, at worst, deeply suspicious. How will your government react? Criticise the monarch. Patriots hate it, liberals think we're brilliant, conservatives also hate it. Alright, let's have a look here. As these are all dropping, people are no longer trying to kill us. Deficit's gone up. Right, I'm hoping that our, un that our uncompetitive economy is going to start changing. 
Now what I didn't check in terms of this is, is an eight turn implementation. Ah, okay, so that's gonna take a ton of time to get in there, but it should help once it gets in there. Respiratory issues are still there. This is evening out. It's not gone down as much as it did. Street gangs, starting to drop. Okay, still need a couple turns for the police stuff to come in there. Ghettos should be starting, but they still have street gangs. Organized crime is still there. So we might want to do something to stop that. Hmm. I'm tempted to just skip another turn. That's the kind of thing in this game. Occasionally you're just like, no, I think my policies will fix the issue. I just need, they just need time to work, you know? I'm going to skip another turn. Let's go. So, crime is continuing to drop. Nice. Animal testing. Do you want to ban it or, cha or go no change? Well, um, I think we're going to go no change. Capitalists will love it. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. Environmentalists hate it, liberals hate it, but GDP has gone up, which is what matters. Right, popularity, 93. 93% of people would vote for us, so obviously I'm doing something right. Uncompetitive economy continuing to drop slightly. Productivity continuing to rise due to our technology grants. Street gangs should be starting to take a... Yeah, they're taking a big dip now. Now the police force stuff is fully coming in. That might kill street gangs in the next... Uh, after two more turns. Ghettos are still there. Obesity, still there. We're not completely fixed it. Um, yeah. We could do something to try and fix it here. Let's see what else we've got in there. Healthy eating campaigns. Is there anything else I can do to fix obesity? Um, try to see if we have anything that seems like a good one. Uh, we could go technology colleges. That, that again helps the same kind of issue we had previously. Let's see. Is there anything that like I'm looking for obesity or productivity? These are two things I'm looking for a lot here. Obesity and productivity. Uh, if anything does that. I would quite like to see a search. Oh, we can search. Oh, what if I go for productivity? Ah, okay. It, you can only search for policies. That's fine. I was hoping that you could search for their effects, but I guess not. That's fine. Um, let's see. Organ donation. Probably not something we need. Uh, free parenting class doesn't seem like something that we're looking for. Healthcare vouchers, again, isn't really something we're looking for. Compulsory school sports cost next to nothing. Let's stick that in there. I thought that was already a thing in the UK. Uh, at least it was a thing where I was in the UK, so it seems odd that it's not there, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know where the developer was from, so. Uh, what else have we got in here in public services? Um, compulsory food labeling. Lowers our GDP. That's going to be a problem. Raises plant-based diets, I noticed there. That's a new one. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Lots of these new little stuff there. Adult education. You know what? Huge. We'll spend as much as we can on that. That is going towards... We're investing in our... Um, like We are investing in our nation. If we put money in, money will come out. It, it's not a policy that will always work, but you know, it's a policy. Alcohol awareness campaign? Don't need it. We got rid of alcohol problems. Um, let me see if there's anything else we need. I think we should be fine for just now. So, crime's continuing to drop. Message from one of my cabinet ministers. He, uh, as my transport minister, is tired of serving in my government and may wish to leave their position. Okay. Um, and now they're a patriot and religious, so that's an issue for them. They would like me to implement Drone Strike Act. We'll see. International Liberty Award. Our tourism has gone up 12%. Nice, so that will increase the amount of money we're making. Credit rating has dropped. Business confidence hates it. That's horrible. Okay, major donor has abandoned our party, so we've lost a financial backer. Okay. Well, that's a problem. But yeah. Uh, we're not expecting our um, income to be fixed because the global economy is falling. So, that's a problem. Uncompetitive economy, though, that's going in the right direction. That's what we're looking for. Productivity continues to rise. Again, that's what we're looking for, is that's a long-term plan. As long as people are going to vote us in, it doesn't really matter what happens next, right? Cool, I think it's two turns for street gangs to die. 
Which is good, because I think we've got one turn for the rest of the police force to implement. Obesity should continue dropping. However, we... Where is it? Our uh, compulsory school sports is a 16 turn thing to implement. Which is fine. There's not a lot we can do about that, right? We just gotta work with what we got. Organized crime still exists. Um, okay. So you don't like us. A lot of the, our people don't like us. Your experience is going up, but you don't like us because of Patriot stuff. You'd like us to do a drone strike act. Let's have a look. What does that do? So, uh, global terrorism threatens us. Uh, you would like us to implement this. It will lower foreign relations. I'm not really into that. Is there anything I can do that might make you happy that doesn't involve, you know, drone strikes? Uh, how about citizenship tests? A lot of people aren't going to like it, but it is going to help our Patriot stuff. However, it's also going to raise the number of Patriots that we have. That's a problem. Okay. Is there any tourism ad? Hmm. You no, know, I could do citizenship tests and combine it with the Drone Strike Act, which would raise foreign relations and lower foreign relations at the same time. Obviously not by the same amount, but you know, I could try that. Is there anything else I can do in here? Uh, that would make Patriots happy. A Mars program, Patriots would love it. Doesn't really fix anything that we have. Could help us with unemployment though, I guess. Space program in general. Raises technology, which will help us with our, I think technology helps us with our productivity. Technology in general does help us with our productivity. So actually, I think, I, I think I might start a space program to save us money. This sounds like it's incorrect. From a from my base assumption here, a space program to save us money. Yes. Uh, I'm going to spend... Oh, actually, the more we spend on it, the cheaper it gets to a level. Like, the more happy with a neutral one. So what's that? Telescopes, satellites, unmanned probes, and space station. Uh, space station would make people really like us. You know what? We're going to space. I don't know if that's a good plan. That's what we're going with. GDP's gone up. They liked it. Unemployment dropped. Fracking. Okay, do we allow fracking or ban it? We have to allow it, unfortunately, because we can't let our GDP drop. Oil supply went up, environmentalists went down. Well, there was nothing we could do. We're going to get 95% of the vote in the election. Rural Alliance and Defenders of the Flag have gone up, but they'll probably go down once they hear about our sick space program. Yeah. All right. How long, many turns? There's a 16 implementation delay. Okay. Street gangs, we're going to get rid of next turn. Great. So even if it goes back up again, it doesn't matter because it has to hit the start trigger. So we could lower some of the stuff we're doing to call it, like we could lower police force slightly if we wanted to. And that would kind of help us out. Uh, do, are you happier now I'm doing this space program thing? I don't know. He probably is, right? Uh, this dropping respiratory disease. Obesity, staying around the same. Okay. Organized crime, where it is. Ghettos are going to stay there until street gangs disappear. Uncompetitive economy, continuing to be going the right direction. This is kind of stopped, but with our technology grants and the fact technology is going to rise from our space program, and our technology grants are going to affect technology, that's all going to spiral. I think we just skip this turn. All right, this minister isn't happy. We've eliminated crime. Street gangs are gone, so that's extra money. GDP's gone up, unemployment's gone down. Great. Uh, you would like me to ban divorce. <laughs> that's a, uh, I don't know if everyone's gonna like that one. Factory farming law. Okay, a campaign for the tightening of animal welfare standards on farms is gaining momentum. We're gonna leave it unchanged. The reason we're gonna leave it unchanged is capitalists will like it. And that's one of our main way of getting capitalists to like us is leaving things the way they are. Right. Let's see. Productivity continuing to rise. Great. Now, ghettos should... Yeah, it's starting to take a drop. In fact, there's nothing adding to ghettos right now, so that should just continually drop from this point onwards. Great news. So we're effectively re removing ghettos, which is going to save us no money, but it is going to make equality, immigration, liberals, and ethnic minorities like us. Organized crime drops a little bit. Respiratory diseases have gone back up due to our environmental issues. 
Obesity, we've, we've stopped a lot of the issue, but it's still an issue. So there's not a lot we can do there, except just keep going in that direction. Okay, you want me to ban divorce. Let, let's see. I don't imagine people are going to be for it. It lowers, wait, it lowers religious membership to ban divorce. I mean, we have the money for it. That's the thing. We have the money for it. And we have the popularity for it. I mean, if that's what she wants... Um, you know what? It's fully banned. Nobody is allowed to divorce anyone else. It's not a great policy. We might get rid of it later. But it's gonna keep our... It's gonna keep our, uh, cabinet member happy. Let's go. Richest company pays no tax. So GDP's gone up, unemployment's gone down, health has dropped slightly. Socialism's gone up here. Mmm, the richest multinational company in the world has paid us no tax this year. Definitely not good. Uh, technological advantage has started. So this is a positive. We haven't had one of these yet, so I haven't been able to talk about them. Basically, what does this mean? Well, we're ahead on technology. This improves our GDP and our productivity. So it's another productivity increase. Doctor strike. Why? Unemployment, wages, labor laws. It lowers health and parents. That's what's affected our health here. Hmm. Okay. Our party membership is the largest by a notable amount. And this is fine. Okay. Cool. Deficits actually dropped, which is nice. Now, this technological advancement, you can see it's been caused by many things, but that's now feeding back into our GDP and our productivity. Our productivity is now rising significantly. That's then going to mean that our GDP is going to rise as our uncompetitive economy should drop significantly. It's going to get rid of our uncompetitive economy. It's going to raise our GDP. It's going to get more money coming in. Invest in our nation, get more money out. Cool. Our debt keeps rising, but our deficit is dropping. That's a positive. Doctor strike is annoying. It costs us some money and it costs us some health. Health then leads into um, healthcare demand. Healthcare demand is what causes our, um, like, that's what causes the prices on our national health service to go up, right? I could increase money into that. That should kill the doctor strike. However, increasing this costs quite a lot. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go as much as I can into healthcare. I'm going to just invest as much as I can. And that should ki it's going to kill private healthcare, but it will also help our obesity issues, our unemployment issues. Capitalists won't like it, but hey, what the hell. Let's go. Okay, Dan Morris, we're back. Credit rating upgraded. Fantastic. So that made our GDP go up again. So that is fantastic news. So GDP went up even further. Capitalists love us for that. Business confidence went up. So we fixed our GDP issue slightly. A situation imminent. Multinational tax evasion has risen slightly. Okay. So because we have so many taxes, multinationals might stop paying us. You would like us to have flags on every street corner. I might just reshuffle this turn. <laughs> I don't know if we need you. Right. Uh, let's have a look here. So. Uncompetitive economy still exists. Okay, and in fact that went up for whatever reason. Productivity? Oh, that dropped this turn. Oh, is that due to the doctor strike? I don't know why it dropped this turn. Oh well. Uh, it should go to where it needs to soon. Ghettos? Still dropping. Great. Obesity? Still going up? Is this a, is a 12 turn implementation delay? Okay, so we got a lot of turns to wait on that one. Um, all right, then let's see what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to reshuffle my cabinet. I think that seems like a sensible time to do it. Reshuffle. And we're going to fire everybody. They're all fired. They're all just not good enough anymore. Right. Loyalty. So, uh, foreign policy. I would like you to do it. You're, you're terrible at campaigning, but we don't need anyone to campaign because, well... Everybody loves us. Welfare. Uh, loyalty. Looking for welfare. You're not got a lot of experience, but you're good at campaigning. You want welfare. It's your job. I should also check what they're into. So you are farmers and liberals, state employees and environmentalists. So far, f so good. Here, economy. Uh, you would want the job, but you're not necessarily the best here. Retired and socialist. Seems good here. 
Yeah, we'll hire you into that job. You're not, you don't like us the most, but you, you're okay. You'll work with us. Uh, tax. Uh, tax wise. Uh, self-employed capitalist. Liberal parents. You don't want tax. Who wants tax? You want tax. Okay. You can have it. You seem all right. You're a motorist liberal. That's okay. Public services. Uh, public services. Um, you're you're getting there on it actually. You can, you can have that job. Yeah, environmentalist, capitalist, law and order. So law and order. You want that job? Okay. You can have it. And then transport. Transport wise, you know what? You uh, actually liberal parents wants transport. You can have it. There we go. There's our entirely female cabinet, and they're all voting the way we want them to, or they're all working the way we want them to. Deficit, by the way, we just dropped 10 billion off of our, despot, uh, our deficit by fixing our GDP issue. Huge. We don't really have a lot of capital. I'm just going to move to the next turn. Crime has gone up slightly. Education dropped, but, and poverty went up. That's all terrible. Oil drilling. So... Oil companies are keen to get permission to drill for oil in a part of the country protected as a wildlife refuge. I'm going to prevent it. Capitalists hate it, but environmentalists love it. News tonight. Uh, this is telling us about the people who can't go to university. That's fine. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Shuffle Meister. Are you going to make your mind up at some point? Honestly, you might as well get a revolving doors fitted to all the ministerial offices if you're going to swap them around this often. Well, you know, that's fine. Deficit, deficit went up by a ton. It says our public health service going in here. What's this one? Oh, that, that flew up. Okay. That flew up there. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, did we cause something to go bad with the environment? Oh, because our GDP increased, our environment just dropped to the ground. Does that mean that we're going to reach... If this reaches top, do we reach a major issue? It's like an even bigger issue at some point? Alright, we need to do something for the environment. That much is set. Uncompetitive economy is still there. What well, happened to our productivity? Productivity. It's not going up. It's going down. Why? Why would it be going down? I don't understand. We put so much into it. I guess our technological stuff is still going into it. It's still ticking up, but it's just... Something bad happened to our economy at some point? Uh, Doctor Strike is getting... Is disappearing, which is cool. Uh, obesity is going back up again. Uh, ghettos? That's going to end soon. That's a positive. Oh dear, everything's falling apart. Right, uh, environment. Let's try and get something to fix our environment. Um, public services. Actually, transport's a good way to fix environment. So, um, we're looking for things that will just immediately, you know, kill car usage, basically. Without making motorists hate us. How about this one? Clean fuel subsidy. Motorists like it, and their income goes up. But uh, the environment and environmentalists, they also like it. It's a very quick thing to do. Costs us some money, but you know what? In it goes. Right. Next one. Uh, transport. Um, we could go electric cars initiative. Uh, that costs quite a lot. Fuel efficiency standards doesn't cost anything, really. We just say this is where it needs to be. Capitalists hate it, but at the same time... Again, seems like a good thing. Car usage goes up due to it, though. But CO2 emissions go down. So we'll accept changes. Cool. Go. Uh, GDP went up, health dropped, unemployment dropped. Okay. Women's March. Liberal liberalism went up. Pollution. Because our environment became a major issue, pollution is now an issue. Okay, and that's going to cause environmentalists to be unhappy. More people are going to go environmentalist. Our health is dropping significantly. We also have a water shortage. Why? Why do we have a water shortage? There's just severe drought due to the year and environmental issues. All right. Credit rating went up, though. Huge news. Business confidence is back. Gig economy is about to become an issue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, what's this? One of your major party donors, Esther Perry, is insisting you placate them by implementing a specific policy, diversity quotas for companies. If you refuse to do so, they will abandon their financial support for the egalitarian de um, Democrats. No. I will not do what you tell me to. 
we have 98% of the vote. You will do... Oh, no, that's peak value. We have whatever that value is. Uh, we have 92% of the vote. We don't need you right now, anyway. Hopefully, our deficit issue is going to be fixed soon. Right? Um, so, ghettos should be fixed next turn. Two turn? Oh, we're right on the edge. Okay. Is this still... I think that's still ticking down. I think it's still got a number of turns to, of effect that's still on it. Yeah, because that's a 12 turn effect. So that should still be going down. Good. Respiratory issues are still there. Obesity should be dropping, but it isn't. Uh, Doctor Strike is going to disappear next turn. Okay, that's going to raise health significantly. That's a nice thing. Pollution? That is lowering health. Okay, we need to do some major environmental changes. What we've been doing is not enough. What are we going to do? We... We could just ban the low MPG cars. That's an option. Just completely ban them. It will help the environment. What helps the environment the most? What's harming the environment the most? If I go to environment, which is in one of these sections, and I will find it soon. If I just move my mouse... Oh, there we go. Environment. Right. GDP going up is killing our environment. Okay. Um, there's nothing else which is killing it as much. Recycling? We could easily push that up. Yeah, costs us pretty much no political capital. That seems good. Um, I think I'm going to ban the low MPG cars. We can put restrictions. We can just completely ban them. They're banned. Motorists are going to think that we are the devil once again, but at the same time... It's what needs to be done. It costs pretty much nothing. It's a major fix. Right, let's go. Doctor Strike has ended. Nice, health's going back up. Ban single-use plastics. I have to. It's helping... Oh, environmentalists like it, but it doesn't actually help the environment. I see. Hopefully our GDP keeps going up, and that's going to help our money issue. Deficit stayed roughly the same. Unfortunately, that's not good, because it means our debt's increasing. Ghettos will end next turn. Great. So that's going to make a bunch of people like us. Our popularity should be dropping. It actually went up. Okay, sure. Uh, water shortage? Still an issue. Uh, environment? Are we, is anything we're doing affecting it at all? It's still going down due to our GDP still rising. Pollution controls? I could raise this further. Just keep major fines for it if they don't do what we say. Yeah, I accept that. Three political capital, raise that as much as we can. Okay. Anything else that I've got here? Um, anything else? Looking Reforestation helps the environments. Planting trees, relatively uncontroversial. Lowers employment and lowers respiratory disease issues. 100 million tree, uh, trees a year. Cool. Let's go. Ghettos are gone. Nice. GDP is rising. Unemployment is dropping. Housing expansion. Okay. Do we want to relax planning laws or keep restrictions? I'm going to relax planning laws for housing. Environmentalists hate it. Homelessness has gone down though. GDP, capitalists, and middle income went up. Farmers hate it as well. We have a new major party donor. Told you we didn't need the old one. We now have campaign speeches. And we have a multinational tax thing imminent, but still not there. Still not really rising at all. Okay, campaign speeches available. I can give campaign speeches. You know what? No. I'm not giving a campaign speech. I have 99% of the populace voting for me. Why would I give a campaign speech? What possible reason, what motive do I have to speak at this point? My actions are speaking louder than words. Youth hate us, but you know what? We keep going the way we're going, there won't be many of them left. Right. Water? Still an issue. Pollution? Dropping slightly, and that means our environment's going up slightly. It's ticked up. Okay, organized crime still exists. Okay, respiratory issues dropping slightly, but again, it's not huge. Obesity should be going in the right direction again, hopefully. Our state health service is still ticking through on its implementation. Yeah, so it's still going in this direction as much as it can, but we've got a few turns till it actually gets there. Um. Let's continue on our environmentalist train. We need more stuff. Attacks is going to make people very unhappy. I could do health food subsidies, though. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to 
invest in health food subsidies, trying to kill obesity. It's like it's cheap, so cheap to buy health food, right? We're, we're, we're going for that. I, uh, hmm. We need to somehow just, we could do a junk food tax at the same time. Yeah, junk food is now going to be taxed a ton. Yeah. And uh, we're also raising health food. So I'm hoping that together those will help our obesity issue. It's not fixing our uh, environment, but let's keep going. Okay. Um, GDP went up, health went up. Environmentalist conservation aid. The environment just went up by 14%, as an international organization has committed a large amount of aid to help with environmental conservation in our country. Patriots hate it, but at the same time, huge environment. We got a new party donor. Great. Campaign speeches, don't need to do anything. Gig economy is gonna start. There's nothing we can do about it. It's um, it's not the biggest issue in the world. Um, okay. Uh, for three generations, Bertha Griffin and her family have run a small, well-regarded food manufacturer, making candy for children selling all across the country. It's a competitive business, but now stretched to breaking point as the company struggles to absorb the price raise is caused by the government's food junk food tax. Shame, basically, you know. It's uh, not our issue. Our, like, these are in here to kill obesity, essentially. Oh cool, we've stopped this being a flashing red issue. And it's going down. Does that mean the environment's going back? Slightly, but not to nearly to the level it was at before we started this. All right, water shortage is fixing, pollution is fixing. Okay, uncompetitive economy is still there. How's our productivity looking? It's there, but it needs to rise more. We're kind of where we are with technology. Unemployment's still there. Um, we could still try and fi there's still stuff we can do to fix this. We could fund things like science funding. That would increase our GDP immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna invest. It stops unemployment, raises GDP. Good, go. Uh, deficit is actually going down. Perfect. Let's uh, just go. Cabinet minister hates me. Why? Uh, environmentalists and capitalists. You would like compulsory foreign language classes. Again, I thought that was a thing in the UK, being from here, but you know, fine. I implement it. Gig economy exists. Now this one rate just has uh, effects. So capitalists love it. Car usage is fun, is goes up. Motorist membership is going down because less people are driving to get things like food or uh, like if it's driving around then less people are um, you know driving their own cars okay trade union membership has gone down and trade unionists hate it okay environmental protests have started because the environment is bad but we're, we're helping it as we can traffic congestion things have gone up okay ban face re recognition in public sure capitalists hate it, it actually lower technology Hmm. We make manifesto uh, promises. Is there anything we want to do? I'm going to cut poverty by 25. Yeah. Poor love it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. By the next term. Okay. Let's see here. Still trying to fix the environment. Uh, it's kind of a big issue, so you can understand why it's not immediately fixed. Uh, and might not ever be fixed. Was it not in this section? I thought it was in this section. I must be going blind. Which is quite possible. Um, I actually don't see it. Hmm. Well, I know where to get to it from. I go here and then to the environment. There we go. Right. GDP is again our issue. Is there anything else I can do? Nothing's going to impact it as much. I can get rid of air travel. But, you know... That's again increased by our GDP. I could increase an airline tax. So I could go like, let's just increase it just a little bit like that. Capitalists hate it, but it kills air travel. Gets us six billion. Let's go. Right, next. It's the election night. Okay. I voted to whoever I voted for last time. Keeps them on the toes, keeps them hungry. As a veteran, I should get extra votes, it's just math. Would it really be that much worse to just have a king or queen? Seriously? Oh, right. 
If you ask me people should choose, they either get to keep a pet or they get a vote. That's just fair. I like some of these. Alright, so, um... Hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was a very close vote this time. Um, we have a 99% majority. Yeah, that, that would do it. We still spent more than anyone else, apparently. That's pretty good, I'd say. Can't quite beat a 99% majority. Changes. Crime, down 53%. Immigration is the biggest thing that went up by the looks of it. Oh, so it's just sort of an order of impact. So yeah, crime went uh, down by a lot and a lot more people immigrated. Which makes sense. We have 53% less crime. Currency strength went up. GDP went up. Plant-based diets went up is an interesting one. Environment dropped. Not good. Um, no, I'm happy. Oh, actually, I'm going to fire you. Yeah. It's interesting, you get to reshuffle your cabinet now, when you used to not be able to. Alright, um, you want to do public services? Sure. Os Oscar Bailey, you can do public services for us. Nice. Internet crime has become a thing, because we have technology. Okay, fair enough. Merger. A large internet company has announced plans to buy out one of its main competitors. We'll allow it. GDP capitalists love it. Yeah, okay, cool. And the global economy is doing okay. We're neither in a boom or bust. So the global economy is fixing itself. Nice, or it's actually going up now. And our income is now going up and our expenditure is staying roughly the same. So that's great. So if we can just fix them a little bit. Like our deficit is only 23 billion now. That's fantastic. Okay, well. I'm going to end this episode for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and all that sort of stuff. I am going to do another one tomorrow. We're going to do another one of these and we're going to carry on with where we are and hopefully we can fix the remaining issues that we've got in our second term. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.